Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. On this program, I want to talk about a very amazing prophecy which the Holy Spirit gave to St. Malachi almost 900 years ago. And this was a prophecy about the last pope who he called Peter the Roman, or in Latin, Petrus Romanus. And the reason there is a lot of speculation on YouTube about this pope is because our current pope, Benedict XVI, is the next to last pope. And we all know that we are coming near the end of Pope Benedict's papacy. And of course, he turned 85 just this past spring. The problem is there is a great deal of misinformation on YouTube about Petrus Romanus, the last pope. Now, I believe this prophecy to St. Malachi is extremely important for these end times for two reasons. First of all, it shows just how near we are to the second coming of Jesus Christ. And secondly, I believe this prophecy will tell us who the false prophet is. Now the main disinformation being spread on YouTube and elsewhere on the internet is whether Petrus Romanus is a good pope or an evil pope. And I don't want to prejudice you with my opinion or the opinion of the three people I am going to present today. Instead, I want you to decide for yourself. I want you to read the prophecy. I want you to decide, is this last pope, the next pope, the final one in St. Malachi's prophecy, is he good or is he evil? In the final persecution of the Holy Roman Church, there will sit Peter the Roman, and in Latin that's Petrus Romanus, who will nourish his sheep amid many tribulations, after which the city of seven hills will be destroyed, and the dreadful judge will judge the people. The end. So how do you interpret this passage? Does it sound to you as if Petrus Romanus is a good pope or an evil pope? Now I will give you my opinion. I don't see how he can be anything but a good pope. And the key phrase is that he will nourish his sheep. Now any Bible scholar should be able to tell you that a good shepherd feeds his sheep. This is what Jesus told Peter to do. Feed my sheep. There is nowhere in the Bible that a good shepherd does not feed his sheep or that an evil shepherd feeds his sheep. Therefore, I believe Petrus Romanus must be a good pope. And this is critical in our understanding of this passage. Pope Benedict, our current pope, is the 111th pope in St. Malachi's list. And our next pope, Peter the Roman, is the 112th pope and he is a good pope. However, there are Bible scholars, like, for example, Irvin Baxter, who disagree. And St. Malachi had said that the 112th pope would be the last pope and that he would be an evil pope. Now, I have watched quite a few of Irvin Baxter's videos, and he never explains how he comes to this conclusion that Petrus Romanus is an evil pope. I just don't see it. According to St. Malachi's own vision, Petrus Romanus, the final pope, nourishes his sheep. That is the sign of a good shepherd, of a good pope. Jesus told Peter to feed my sheep. However, Irvin Baxter is not alone in this false interpretation. Just this past spring, Tom Horn and Chris Putnam published a 500-page book called Petrus Romanus, The Final Pope is Here. And they say the same thing. In fact, Tom Horn says that this Petrus Romanus, the final pope, the good pope, 
is the false prophet. And the next pope is the final one on a 900-year-old prophecy. So imagine how historical this moment is with regard to, to end times Bible prophecy. By the way, the, the prophecy tells us that he will be the false prophet of uh, biblical fame who will help give rise to the Antichrist. Now, I admit I have not read Tom Horn's book. Maybe he gives some evidence that Petrus Romanus is an evil pope. I have watched most of his videos on YouTube, however, and he never gives any facts to support his position. I believe they are mistaken, both he and Irvin Baxter. Petrus Romanus is a good pope. He feeds his sheep. Nor does Tom Horn give any evidence that Petrus Romanus, the last pope, is here now, as he claims in the title of his book. And as I said, I have watched most of his videos. Now maybe if some of you have read the book, you can clue me in on what evidence he gives. Number one, that Petrus Romanus is an evil pope, as he claims, or that Petrus Romanus is here now. Nor, as I say, are Baxter or Horn alone in this. For example, Dr. James Hutchins says the same things. But if you think that the four of us are reading from a different prophecy, please note in this next clip, Dr. James Hutchins actually reads the prophecy, and you will see it is almost identical to what I read at the beginning of this program. The prophecy is this, he's, to, he's supposed to be the last pope, and he's supposed to be a bad pope, an evil pope. This is what it says. In the extreme persecution of the Roman Church, the Holy Roman Church, there will sit Peter the Roman, who will nourish the sheep in many tribulations. When they are finished, the city of seven hills will be destroyed, and the dreadful judge will judge his people. The end. And Tom Horn, Urban Baxter, and James Hutchins are not alone on YouTube. There are actually many other videos in which the narrator says the exact same thing, and that is that Petrus Romanus, the last pope, our next pope, is an evil pope. And I just don't see where they get this. The prophecy is very clear. Petrus Romanus will nourish his sheep. And it is totally unbiblical to say that a false prophet will nourish his sheep. This is a totally wrong interpretation. And now I want to explain why it is critically important that we do not misinterpret this prophecy of St. Malachi about our next and last Pope, Petrus Romanus. The reason is, very soon we will have another Pope. Pope Benedict very well could die. He's 85 already. Or he may be forced out of the papacy. In any case, we will have a new Pope. I contend it will be obvious that this new Pope is not Petrus Romanus. There will be nothing about him to fulfill St. Malachi's prophecy. There will be nothing in his name or his birthplace or his national heritage or his coat of arms or whatever ways that past popes have fulfilled St. Malachi's prophecies, none of these will fit the new pope. So therefore, we will be in a dilemma. If you mistakenly believe that Petrus Romanus is an evil pope, and you see that this new pope is not Petrus Romanus, you may be led to think that he is a true pope, a good pope. And here's the problem. This new pope will be the false prophet. And you will accept the false prophet. And you will also be claiming that St. Malachi's prophecies are false. Because according to Malachi, the last pope is Petrus Romanus. This new pope must be a false pope. And he is. He is an anti-pope. He is the false prophet. If, however, you understand St. Malachi's prophecy, and you know 
that Petrus Romanus will be a good pope. And it is obvious that the new pope is not a Petrus Romanus, and he cannot fulfill Malachi's prophecy, then you will understand that he is an interloper, that he is a false pope, an anti-pope. In fact, you will understand that our next pope, the one that is presented to us by the media, is in fact the false prophet. And so, if Petrus Romanus is not in the Vatican, and a false prophet has taken over the Catholic Church, we will have to look elsewhere for where Petrus Romanus, Peter the Roman, the last true pope, can be found. And on my next part of this series, I want to talk about Tom Horn's claim that Petrus Romanus is here now. And as always, I offer a free copy of my book, Revelation Unraveled. You can either write to the address you see on your screen or leave a comment below, and I will contact your channel on YouTube.